This is one I've been quite keen on, and it's topical because, um, you know, Texas is synonymous with office property, particularly in Sydney and in Melbourne. And even, you know, when I was walking through the CBD today, it is still so depressingly empty. But it belies um, the news that Texas gave us, which uh, is that about half of um, Dexas's property assets are office, and it's generally tier one office properties. And, you know, if you look at the actual numbers, um, the rent collections were very strong, sort of 98, 99% of rent was collected. But there was actually a slight, surprisingly, um, property valuations rose over the six months by about 1%. And, and that's really, I think, it's more to do with these big global pension funds, which are scouring the world for long-term safe assets to own. And, um, you know, still a lot of demand. I think um, the institutional money is looking through the short term at the moment. And Darren Steinberg, the CEO on the call, you know, he, he was quite a bit more upbeat about the um, what he was seeing on the ground and talking to tenants and, you know, seemed to think that um, a lot of tenants are actually looking for more space, not less. Um, so, you know, to me, the um, the death of office is is completely overstated and it's one of the few big property trusts you're actually buying at a decent discount to assets. Their last reported asset backing is about $11.77. They also have a funds management business which manages about $27 billion in property for big pension and industry super funds, which most analysts believe would be worth about two bucks roughish per share. Um, they're on a yield of about 5.3%. Gearing is at the bottom end of the range. And um, they do have a growing exposure to industrial property as well, which we all know is booming at the moment. And, um, you know, I, I, I tend to think this is still a pretty good opportunity in Texas.